What's up guys? This is Marcus with MF9 Parent Life and today I have stumbled across free medical school. <laughs> Listen here. For all you aspiring medical school students, doctors, all that good stuff, if you are interested in going to medical school for absolutely free tuition, I would say, and free room and board, okay? This school is in Cuba, all right? Now, I know what you're thinking. What? How are we going to go to school in Cuba? All right, let me explain. Cuba has a school called the Latin American School of Medicine. It's located in Havana, Cuba, all right? And they are offering free medical tuition uh, they're also offering room and board for students uh in different countries and the united states happens to, happens to be one of them um they are if you're in the ages between 18 and 25 you can apply there uh right out of high school if your grades are pretty good the chances are you getting in are are awesome so i if I wanted to go to medical school, that's what I would do. I would not pay billions upon trillions of dollars <laughs> to go to medical school somewhere else besides Cuba. Okay. All right. They offer free tuition, free room and board. All right. So I know what you're thinking. Why would I go to school in Cuba? All right. I'm about to tell you. Let me explain. Cuba has one of the best medical programs on the planet. Okay, when when there's a crisis in other parts of the world, Cuba has like an army of doctors that they send. Okay, because Cuba is not a like a really really big country, so they have a surplus. They have an abundance of doctors, so they have a, a basically a doctor army who goes out and helps other people. And these are top of the line doctors. They have a lot of hands on experience. Um, the technology there isn't the best so they focus on holistic care okay so they don't have a lot of uh, you know bells and whistles like we have here in the United States so uh, they have to rely on uh, you know their their given abilities what, what they learn to attack diseases and, and symptoms um, holistically and the, the focus there is preventative medicine so they want to be able to prevent medicine I'm sorry they want to be able to prevent disease altogether so a lot of the um, clinicals are done inside the community the clinicals are focused on um, you know a lot of house calls a lot of hands-on work hands-on uh, uh, bedside manner type treatment okay so uh, in that what you're gonna have to do is learn Spanish okay if you don't learn Spanish by the time you get there don't worry about it they do have a 12 week course it's like a 12 week crash course in Spanish okay um, but if you are you know if you have graduated yet I would definitely take Spanish courses so I could become fluent by the time I do get in medical school, so start young. Parents, start them young in Spanish class. Okay, you can check the library and check out some community centers. I'm more than sure they offer Spanish. They offer Spanish classes at Pan African Connection in uh, Oak Cliff. All right, so Google Pan African Connection. You know what? I'll put it in the link. All right. I also put uh, I put in the, the description below. So look for that link for Pan African Connection. I'll also put a link for the Latin American School of Medicine and I'll also put a link for the Education Commission on Foreign Graduates okay now that is the testing um, you're gonna have to pass that test in order to practice medicine in the United States okay um, so when you graduate from school in Cuba, you're going to come here and uh, take that test in order to practice medicine here in the United States. So they will well prepare you for that. 
Um, and how I found out about this is I had the opportunity to talk to a young man over Skype who was in Cuba actually attending the school, okay? And uh, he loves it and he wants to actually stay there, you know. Um, Cuba is an awesome place. If you haven't been, I would recommend that you go. It is awesome. Hands down, awesome place. Um, so it is a six-year program as opposed to a four-year program because they take you right out of high school, okay? So there's a lot of, there's some things that you still have to learn about uh, anatomy, physiology, and so on and so forth that are a part. And they also want to get you ready to be able to speak Spanish and understand because the entire curriculum is in Spanish. The instructors are, uh, they speak Spanish. And when you do your clinicals in the community, they speak Spanish as well. All right. So get really, really comfortable with the Spanish language because you are definitely going to need it when you go there. And plus it's a, it's, it's in demand language. All right. Um, what else? Um, if you have a specialty, you can come back here. But the best thing about that is that if you have a specialty and you practice uh, overseas, it looks excellent on your resume because it's different. Okay, everybody's used to people graduating from these prestigious schools, you know, just to get into medical school and all that good stuff. They're everybody, so do something different. You know, do something to separate yourself from the rest of them. You know, you graduated school in Cuba. So they're going to be like, wow, okay. You know, you graduated school in Cuba. Plus you came over and took the test. You know, you didn't have to do it the traditional way. All right. Uh, and I'm a big proponent of doing stuff non-traditionally. All right. <laughs> so uh, especially when it doesn't put me in a lot of debt. Okay. So uh, that is a debt-free medical school plan. Okay, Havana, Cuba, look it up, research it. I will put the links in below. Study, 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 um, and reach out if you got questions. Marcus and Foxy at gmail.com, uh, or you can reach us at 918 9P E A C E 2. All right, that's 918 9 Peace 2. All right. Y'all take it easy. I try not to do too much. Death-free medical school, fellas and ladies. Peace.